Yeah, so I'm. That's why I'm not talking about them until next year. So, yeah. So, yeah, it is what it is. But you know what? They've got a very bright future. Starting next year, we have a we have two ESPN Top 100 recruits. Nice. One is a is a, a seven foot two Philip Petrusov. Yes. And he's he's from uh, Ukraine, and. Um, well, he was born in Ukraine, but uh, about 10 years ago, he came over here. And um, yeah, he plays currently at, uh, at um, uh, Bishop Gorman uh, High School in, um, in uh, was it Las Vegas or Reno? Hello, folks. How are you? Doing well. Did y'all have a good week? You guys got any more? You guys got any more coming with? Yep, we do. Hello. How are you, folks? Good. So I hope you guys have all had a good week. Good. Yes, yes. Good. So, amen to that. So, yeah, I me, mean, I'm ready to take the trip, but in God's time. Is this all? No. Yep. Jen's coming. No, Jen's coming. Oh. Okay. Jen? What are they having at the church tonight? Uh, we're doing breakfast for dinner. Yeah, so, so how how good is your kitchen staff here? Are they pretty good? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you guys do, do you guys do you guys still get food delivered from the mission for dinner, or or do you cook it all right here? Oh, cool. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. So, so how many how many total beds do you guys have in there? Then how many how many what's the capacity in there? You know what I'm not sure. Uh, I, I know it's better than what you guys had previously down there in Sprague. Yes. That was just ugly. Oh, yeah. So. Almost like we were like sleeping outside, but there's six beds in my room just by itself. Yeah, I. You know what? Really, what they should do to you guys is, is give you guys your own individual room. <laughs> Uh, I don't like dormitory style sleeping at all. They, uh, you know, and, and they do that at the men's mission too. They have like, what, 30, 30 guys to one room, and that's wow. that's too much. That There's um, so, but but it's okay. Yeah. Um, there's like um, just so just down our hallway alone. There's twenty four girls, but there's that's um, still quite a few. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just am one of those that if I'm in a situation like that, I need to kind of like decompress and relax and have kind of my own room, and maybe have like maybe one or two other people well, share a room with me, but not not thirty. This is just the um, just the crisis center, right. um, the outreach program for the Anna Ogden Hall, the cool. gospel mission um, program. Um, so if you go to the Anna Ogden Hall, I think they have beds. There's about 30 girls um, that stay there, and um, and you get your own room and everything. Yeah, I stayed there as a kid with my mom when it was a regular shelter, and uh, that was before the addition. It was actually only about half the size. I remember one time going down into the basement and seeing the tunnel doors that led over to the uh, to the the old St. Luke's Hospital. Oh, wow. Which is right, kid, a kitty cornered from it. Now it's an apartment building, and uh, I uh, I was able to open that tunnel door one time and uh, walk through it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, because originally that that building was the uh, uh, nurses' quarters for the old St. Luke's Hospital. That's where the nurses lived. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's so a little history on that place and. And, um, if the tunnel's still there, it's it probably is. locked down. Well, it's well or filled. Yeah. So, but you know, I see these videos online every now and then where um, these urban explorers will go and find like abandoned hospitals and they'll and they'll walk through them and they'll film inside and some of those places could be pretty uh, pretty scary. So. Uh, 